Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the TSEX Season 20 Premier Division just started. Of course, first we have the qualifications with four best engines uh, qualified to the fourth league. Then from the fourth league, um, I think three best engines qualified to the third league, then to the second league and the first league. And from the first league, uh, we have two best engines which qualified uh, to the Premier Division. So this was ethereal which was relegated before and also rough chain which is um, for the first time in the premier division uh, other engines we have of course stockfish lila chess zero as usual we have komodo dragon so and a new version of komodo we have ali stein as always we have stufless and scorpio uh, and a new as well so eight best engines and now they gonna play a uh, plenty of games we already have i think 35 for 35 rounds and I would like to show you the game from uh, one of the rounds where we have Dragon playing as white against Scorpio NNUE. So without further ado, let's see this game. I choose this game because of the very interesting maneuver played by Dragon. So this is something uh, quite unique. I haven't seen that before. So without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. We have e4, c5. First, uh, I think eight moves are prearranged. So we have knight f3, Sicilian defense. We have d6, d4, open Sicilian. And now after knight f6, instead of knight c3, uh, we have a range f3 move uh, which of course is the part of the theory and it's called prince variation uh, and here the main idea is e5 this is in the Sveshnikov opening uh, spirit however uh, it was not played in this in this game also knight c6 was possible but we have some variation of the Nidorf, so a6 taking away the b5 square from white pieces so the knight cannot jump there for example after e5 uh, also the bishop cannot get to b5 and so on uh, and now after a6 immediately we have c4 so anticipating that b5 can be a, a thing here and now black has to develop the the dark square bishop uh, e6 and g6 this is part of the theory in our game we have e6 and now after knight c3 queen c seven bishop e3 we have knight b to d7 and here we have end of the book so uh, the engines are on their own now uh, human usually in this position goes for the very standard bishop e2 uh, and after bishop e7 just castle and by transposition uh, after queen d2 bishop b7 rook a to c1 this rook always is welcome on the c file uh, black of course castle rook f to d1 so centralizing both of the rooks uh, rook a to c8 and so on we have couple of hundred games so alexander grishuk played that and uh, other uh, super grandmasters as well this is well known theory however after knight b to d7 the first move which dragon plate is rook c1 so uh, the castle on the queen side is not longer possible at least in the theory uh, and also the king side castle it's still possible so we have b6 we have g4 so it seems like dragon doesn't want to castle on the king side so what to do with the king we have h6 because of course g5 is the thing and now this mystery is now solved king d2 so before transposing to the very very sharp position first of course you would like to put your king into the safety uh, if you would castle you needed to move the queen first for example to d2 uh, then the king would be on the on the c file and the rook would be on the d file uh, and this is the new idea king d2 so what is the idea after g6 we have king c2 so what dragon is doing is bring the king to the safety it this way it seems like dragon has a lot of time uh, and indeed what black can do uh, it's completely uh, not passive position but it's a hedgehog position and of course black have to first uh, bring the bishops to the game so we have bishop g7 we have bishop e2 and now bishop b7 so developing almost ended and now we have king b1 move the king to the safety and now we have quite a critical moment of the 
game where black have to choose the plan so for example the knight could jump potentially to e5 uh, and put the pressure on the on the c4 also the knight could very naturally go to c5 and defend e6 which after for example f4 uh, and f5 uh, can be in some kind of danger and i will show you a couple of variations here and finally castling in this position is also pretty good however we have h5 first asking dragon what you gonna do here because if you open the position of the king side maybe i'm gonna castle on them on the queen side it's pretty risky however it's better than on the king side uh, but we have g5 so closing the position and after knight h7 f4 we have also knight c5 so uh taking care of the of the e6 and now immediately we have f5 and now i will show you what can happen the, because the position is quite sharp here so for example this pawn is under attack uh if we take it with the let's say with the knight so the knight um, doesn't defend the e6 anymore if the bishop takes then of course we would end have exchange and the knight would jump to the e4 and anyway uh and then after f takes on g6 now how do you co gonna continue because your knight is under attack and now if you take um, this pawn then of course we have knight e6 with the attack on the queen with the attack on the uh, on the bishop so knight c3 is possible first and after rook c3 bishop is attacking uh, on c3 another bishop is attacking on h1 but of course there is no time to take any of that uh, queen e7 and after knight g7 queen g7 uh, bishop d4 now winning uh, the rook or the exchange if queen g8 then we of course can have rook e8 and the king is in troubles in the center king d7 then bishop g4 boom sacrificing the bishop here and after h takes on g4 uh, queen g4 it seems like okay king cannot go to d8 of course uh because we would have very beautiful bodens made together uh with this queen and with the with the rook so that would be the checkmate uh, and king c7 seems like the king can actually escape and everything gonna be fine however after rook e7 uh white can sacrifice also the exchange here so uh, after being the whole rook down but look at these pieces what is that uh, now queen d7 and white is completely winning king b8 queen d6 uh, and then after uh, whatever it doesn't really matter uh, we are gonna have also the rook joining with tempo and uh, and winning the game so that would not be even possible uh, to play f takes on g6 what could be possible is knight h to g5 uh, but then of course uh, queen f7 and now this pawn is in troubles it's very weak pawn uh, queen f7 then rook f1 with the attack on the queen uh, queen has to go somewhere queen g6 keeping an eye on the on the e6 and also creating some nasty discoveries maybe even some mating ideas here uh, but of course king a1 solve all the all the problems and now black are still in troubles with the king uh, cannot castle on the on the king side and if castle on the queen side which is the best move in the position it's still not enough because queen b3 now wins this pawn and it cannot be even defended if it's defended then the knight gonna join uh, and of course uh, black are in the totally lost position here so uh, this would be the first option uh, that this pawn cannot be taken uh, uh, also if e takes on f5 it looks like you know very natural move but then we're gonna have e takes on f5 uh white doesn't need to care about exchange because if the rook is taken uh then simply queen h1 and what you're gonna play next if you castle uh because your king in the center gonna lose the game uh if you castle on the queen side then of course your rook is hanging so that's the another problem uh so f6 and after bishop h5 knight d5 attacking the queen and you see already what's gonna happen uh that's gonna be the checkmate almost the checkmate because black have to give up the queen and lose the game so that's the first problem and if castle immediately uh then we of course gonna have f6 bishop h5 and now bishop h5 and now if g takes on h5 the knight gonna jump here and deliver the checkmate on h6 that's the first idea and if not playing something else rook a to e8 let's say 
then still knight f5 is winning here because after g takes on f5 bishop d4 first moving the bishop to this diagonal and after bishop h1 queen h1 and knight e6 it looks like this bishop gonna be lost but not really because after knight d5 the queen has to be moved uh, and then the bishop can retreat to c3 so the plan for white is bring the rook to g1 and then push this pawn uh, and then win the position of the of the king is completely compromised and it's completely losing the engine shows the evaluation plus four even black has one extra rook in this position so this is also completely losing so here in this position very sharp position black has not many uh, things to do bishop e5 was played by scorpio so you know f6 is not that uh, nasty anymore as the bishop would be in the center of the board moving the bishop outside of this jail because if f6 as you already see this bishop would be just completely sad on the on the g7 or even deeper on the h8 or f8 uh, and here we have king a1 very silent another silent move uh, by dragon so dragon remaneuver manually we can say manually remaneuver the the king uh, and now why to play that in some of the variations actually black can take on the e four and this bishop would come with the check and attack this pawn it's more important than the rook on h1 in this in this situation however it's not possible yet um, for the same reason i just show you so first we have rook c8 by a uh, scorpio and now f takes on g6 f takes on g6 again this is possible one of the best moves in the position uh, white can actually bring the rook to f1 and black not gonna castle anymore so this is pretty pretty possible uh, but if you think okay b4 what about b4 because now kicking this bishop uh, and then you know we can attack on e6 this attack would not be as be as strong uh it's you know little details which matters because now after knight e4 uh, and knight e6 the queen can come to f7 so the knight have to go back uh, and then after knight c3 rook c3 bishop can take on h1 and after queen h1 the knight also can take on g5 so this is the huge difference uh, of course the bishop is the babysitter on d4 uh, so for example after exchanging more pieces we can have queen e4 bishop can uh, retreat to e5 and then king b1 just avoiding this this pin also black can uh, avoid the, the pin however at the end of the game black are totally fine here queen e6 and black have one extra exchange and one extra pawn so yes this was possible to actually take on g6 but only with the variation on rook f1 and getting to the open file uh, however we have rook f1 first so preparing that uh, and now black this is the last moment for black to actually uh, castle so this is why we have castle uh, and now how to continue the attack of course you can play f takes on g6 and f takes on g6 but everything is fine with the black's position even black according to the engine is slightly better here uh, however and dragon is not interested in a draw dragon a figure out but this position probably can be won by the very very brutal attack and we have bishop h5 sacrificing the bishop we have g takes on h5 uh, queen h5 uh, and only now knight e4 uh, and here uh, dragon actually want to avoid the exchange of the knight so we have knight c to e2 uh, and now queen d7 we have rook f3 very strange move however very nice lifting the rook is going to h3 so very very simple attack very simple chess and now we're gonna deliver the checkmate uh, so we have e takes on f5 and now rook h3 is possible uh, so that would be very very natural move and after f6 uh, then g6 the knight cannot be moved because we would have the checkmate on h7 so knight e to g5 would have to be played uh, and attacking the rook so rook h4 uh, and now for example after bishop e4 
Rook G1 and White could probably have very very nice attack here. Just exchange this this knight for the bishop and then after winning this this knight, we are gonna have the open G file and that should be enough to win the game. However, Dragon has different idea here and he plays Rook G1 over protecting G5 uh, pawn. We have F6 and now G6. So uh, the full attack, full scale attack. Now the knight can just jump to g5 defending also h3 so uh, bringing the rook to h3 uh, an attack on the on the h8 is not even possible but now we have knight f5 so what is going on look at this position uh, now we have this rook hanging uh, so we have knight f3 uh, and now g7 uh, we have knight f to g5 going back, so winning the rook for free, uh, but now you can pause the video and find the winning continuation uh, for white. There is only one way um, to win that game, uh, whatever else you play is actually just a draw or even losing. Uh, so find the winning continuation for white only one way uh, while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready. Uh, if we go for the knight h6 first, the problem is that this pawn is not defended and this is losing king g7. And even you play h4 trying to actually win uh, back the material, then queen h3 is winning because it cannot be taken because the queen is winning and the queen is also trapped. I mean, okay, you can exchange the queens, of course, uh, but then we have the rook and the bishop extra for black. Uh, white sacrifice everything and there, there, are, there is no effect. So uh, that doesn't work. Uh, what could work, maybe it's knight d4, trying to bring the knight to the f5. Uh, but this is also uh, okay for black. Bishop d4, uh, bishop d4, and after rook c4, uh, the attack cannot be continued. Uh, let's say bishop e3 trying to 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 attack but this is just just not enough knight g3 and what you're gonna play next your queen is queen is under attack the queen has to be moved uh, let's say queen d1 uh, and then after rook h4 also this knight is uh is lost so uh also the rook and the bishop uh down uh, white have some tricks here like rook g3 uh, of course the queen cannot take because that would be lost um however after queen a6 still keeping an eye on this diagonal uh, so just being sure that this knight gonna be lost uh, and after let's say bishop g5 uh, everything is completely fine the king can take on h6 and again we have the bishop and the rook extra and winning the game so this doesn't work uh, if you want to take the rook uh, then this doesn't work as well but this is only a draw after rook f8 uh, you don't have anything here uh, you can play knight h6 uh, but then king g7 and after h four again we can have this uh, motive queen h3 and knight f5 probably is the only saving move for white but this this would be you know a bit out of control uh because now after h takes on g5 f takes on g5 a very interesting variation with bishop g5 and yes it looks like the checkmate however the bishop can come to c1 so of course it cannot be taken uh now the problem is what to do with the with the queen because we have the check uh, and also we have the attack on the on the queen so it looks like you know white already lost but at, at the end of the of the day we're gonna have knight g1 and after rook f1 and knight e2 the knight is defending them the, the bishop so white gonna have time actually to uh to continue the game that would be very very sharp very interesting we would have the rook uh, and the bishop for the queen uh, but in this position probably that would be a draw at least according to the engine is you know zero zero um, but it's not the dead draw probably something interesting would come out um, of this uh, because the position is is really really interesting uh, but it's not enough to win the only winning move in this position is of course queen g6 so congratulations uh, all we have to do is defend the pawn and then deliver the checkmate in the next move and now uh, just Scorpio prove that this is serious engine uh, and not gonna play any you know queen takes on the 
on the f5 because it's completely losing so why to play that of course bishop b2 uh, also could prolong the game uh, but Scorpio said okay I lost so we have queen f7 and now after knight h6 we of course have the checkmate uh, so dragon won this game and this was quite insane that white found the way to just bring the king to a1 and find the time to actually attack and end the game in the 29 moves just insane in completely you know a uh, known position for human it looks like uh what can happen here but bang then we have this mating ideas very sharp lines crazy lines but this is actually quite normal in the sicilian defense but this is what happened is is just shocking so very beautiful game by uh, dragon and i would like to just uh, tell you but that after 35 games stockfish is leading stockfish lost two games lila chess zero is on the second place with the four games lost uh, and komodo lost seven games together with ali stein uh, so are on the on the third place komodo and ali stein uh, are just behind stockfish and lila chess zero stoffless is um, next so that's pretty pretty standard uh, scorpio is another and ethereal and rough trade is at the end of the of the table so uh if you like this game this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press a like and if you don't want to miss another games engine games maybe uh press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one